is up guys, I'm Xavier aka The Film Zeb. welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now in today's video we'll be going over Joel Cohen's solo di directorial film The Tragedy of Macbeth starring Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand, and Corey Hawkins. Let's dive right into it. So off the bat, I'm not that familiar with Macbeth before going into this film. I didn't read the play at all, I didn't read anything about Macbeth at all, so this is my, my like first like real introduction to the actual piece by Shakespeare. And look, um, it's Shakespearean dialogue, so a lot of times it is kind of hard to understand like what the characters are saying at the whole entire story some, at some points, but overall, you still have that effect, you know, when you're watching the film. The reason why you have this effect, because the technical part or the technical side of this film is just so immersive that you're just always drawn into the story. Like, for example, the cinematography is out of this world. Like, there are some shots in here. It's just like perfection. Like, you were just fully transported with this in this, like, the scenery of Macbeth. The yeah, production design as well on that same page. Like for example, the castle, um, it's very hollow, very open, a lot of windows, a lot of different like just open areas. It's like a lot of isolation you can say. Um, but the sets are not anything too crazy at all. But when you pair the the openness, opium, is that a word? Openness you could say of the sets and then also the cinematography, you just get some some visuals that are just unmatched for this year's uh, films. Now, the main draw, of course, is um, Denzel Washington and Francis McDormand um, are two like, lead characters, you can say, mainly Denzel as Macbeth, which he is just out of this world. Denzel, despite um, not really understanding a lot of the Shakespearean dialogue, Denzel is just Denzel. So he's just great in everything he does, pretty much. Um, and he has a lot of monologues in here, one particularly about a dagger that he has towards the beginning of the film. Denzel is just a world-class actor, and his, you know, approach to Shakespearean dialogue and Macbeth is just so um, effective. It's also very animated, too, a lot of times, too. He's, like, moving around, going crazy and whatnot, um, and Denzel does that best, in my opinion. Francis McDormand um, is going kind of going a little bit crazy in this film as well, um, not as much as Denzel, um, but you know, she's Francis McDormand, so she's just naturally good in this film as well. And those two are just some like so good performances. Um, Denzel is definitely getting in for best actor. I'm not sure about Francis McDormand, but Denzel is definitely a shoot in for that uh, this year for the Oscars. For the supporting side of things, Corey Hawkins and Alex Assel are great as well. Um, and look, the the Shakespearean dialogue, like I said, mentioned earlier, even though it's really hard to understand, everybody's giving their all. The amount of effort, I'll say that actually, the amount of effort that this cast just like putting on to this Shakespearean dialogue and making it like a real film. And and Joel Cohen has to be like a, a mega Shakespeare fan because you can actually just, you can tell how big a fan he is. Staying true to the uh, Shakespearean dialogue uh, from the actual, you know, Macbeth original writings. There's a lot of hate towards this film. And I don't really, I don't really see why there's a lot of hate. Maybe the dialogue, but besides that, this is a fantastic film. Uh, fantastic visuals, some great sound, a great score as well. Some, some of the best cinematography we've seen in the last like two decades or so, I will say. Um, and yeah, this film is gonna get a lot of critical acclaim as it should. I'm gonna give the tragedy of Macbeth a solid eight out of ten. A fantastic film, uh, especially for the Shakespeare aspect. Denzel Washington. And cinematography. So if you guys have seen um, Macbeth at all, let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on the film. It is on Apple TV Plus. So you guys have that, you can watch it right now on your um, you know your streaming service. That is it for me today. I will see you all next time. Like always, have a great one.